All right, we're at 6103 Heritage Place uh, in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's kind of a gray, wet, gloomy day, but the uh, house was built in 1993. It's 1574 square foot and a uh, three bed, two bath listed for $275,000. Can I give you a snapshot of the street neighborhood? It's Monday. It's nice and quiet. Look down the side of the house over here. Siding looks good. Paint looks nice and fresh and clean. Garage doors nice and straight. No dents or dings. Gotta show you the backyard a little here. Not a lot of grass in the backyard, so when I get back out on the deck, it's going to be kind of muddy, so I'm not going to be able to walk the whole yard. But they have this fenced off like a dog run almost. Alright, so you walk into the living room. It's got a nice curved wall. Kitchen and dining. High ceilings. All the new laminate wood flooring throughout. To the left here, we have a coat closet. There's a linen closet. The bedrooms one and two. Windows are real dirty. There's a closet. No transitions in the floor at all. It's all one consistent floor throughout. Whole house has been recently painted. Tiles clean on the bathtub. Bathtub itself is dirty. It looks to be superficial dirt. I'm pretty sure that it'll clean up uh, and, and be good to go. And uh, bedroom number two. High ceilings in here as well. Closet. Now that's, you could use the top for storage. I wanted to make sure it wasn't open. So you can put some storage up there. All right, let's go check out the master. Come back off the living room. There's a closet here. Good spot for the vacuum cleaner. And into the master bedroom. It's kind of a curved cutout wall. That's where the fireplace is in the living room. Open to the bathroom. High ceilings again in here. Consistent transition free flooring, which is just really nice. If you're going to put the floor down, put it all down at one time and don't have any breaks in it. 
into the bathroom. We have the toilet to the left. It's a walk-in closet. We have a separate shower and tub. And then dual vanities. Hello. All right. And then the second closet over there. So I would say his and hers. Access to the backyard and back deck out of the master bedroom. We'll head out there in a moment. Back into the living room. Dining area. Eating kitchen. It's a gloomy day uh, and the house lights up nicely. It's, it's nice and bright in here. Uh, brighter than you would anticipate on a gloomy day. Gas cooking is always a plus. Uh, we have utilities in the kitchen, so washer dryer hookups behind these doors in the kitchen. And then pantry just on the other side. And we're gonna head out into the garage. Two car garage. Then right here we have our air conditioner. And then around the corner we have a storage area. And then this closet houses the water heater. So, water heater looks good, rather new. It's got the expansion tank on the top, sitting in a drain pan. It's what you'd want to see. All right. Walk out and check out the backyard. So the deck, there's the, these divots here, uh, but they're solid. Yeah, you, the, the deck is solid. The spots that would look like they'd be weaker spots are, aren't there. I'm 230 pounds and I can stomp on them and I don't get any give at all. Uh, it is on a greenway. I looked at the, the FEMA maps for flood zones. Um, and they don't come into the yard at all. That was my first concern with the drainage ditch behind the house. Uh, and there's the FEMA maps don't come up. They come to like the property line. Uh, but never onto the property. So no, no need for flood insurance. And it should be good to go. Backyard needs some grass with the all the trees. I imagine it's probably a challenge to grow grass back here. Uh, roof looks good from ground level. Everything looks solid. House is four sides brick, so makes uh, maintenance and painting easier. And all in, it's a very solid looking house. Let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.